So we'll keep the lines open then, and we'll see what happens there, and uh, I'll hang on as long as I can. 48 on the call right now. Okay. So I'll hang on as long as I can here. But as I said uh, a couple minutes, couple minutes ago, I don't foresee this thing going on a whole lot longer. And right. um, uh, I, I think we've said that many times in the past, but uh, I do believe that we're <laughs> – uh, what I'm about to share tonight is the is the solution. Now, what I want to say too, in addition to that, is that um, nothing here is conclusionary, and I'm not going to tell you who or what to write to because I haven't done that part yet. Right. So I'm just going to I'm just going to talk about the technicalities here and uh, what I believe has to be done. That all of this will reverse 180 degrees. In other words, uh, rather than paying for the fruits of our own production, we will receive use of the, that without the payment, the requirement to pay. Now, <clears throat> we went through some experiences last fall, uh, Alex and Yakim and Dana and Doug and Bill and I, and um, as a result of those processes, we learned, or believe we learned, that as much as we were on the money with respect to being sons and heirs of God and having dominion over the earth, it is true that those are not the words that the law needs to hear. Okay. And we've talked about words like, uh, you know, coming from the perspective that uh, we want to be lovers and we want to give everything freely. And just for to start off the conversation, I believe that word in law is settlor. S-E-T-T-L-O-R. Can I just spell that again? Settler. S E T. Oh, settler, you said. Yeah, O-R, not E-R. O-R. Yep. Transport. You know, like recognize or and, you know... Right. Or in, at the end of the word. Yep. If we can try to keep uh, the, the feedback to me to a minimum, just so I can, because once I start going here, I don't like to be interrupted. Well, let's go first. Uh, you can uh, do it star five if you want, Vic, or I'll do it. Too. No, no, I, I mean, um, I don't mean feedback from noise. I just mean once I start talking here, I like to keep going. Oh, okay. But, but I was, we can get everybody to mute the anyway. Okay, hang on. I'll mute out. Muted. So the, uh, the the word settlor, grant, grantor, and trustor are all synonymous. However, the word settlor seems to be the common usage, uh, common choice word in, in Canada. And so, I believe anyhow that the word settlor is how you, how we, do what we do freely. And of course, the word settlor relates to a trust. If there's a settler, there's a trust. Now. Having said that, I want to step back here for a moment and uh, share what I think has been our major glitch in seeing the light. And uh, quite often, and um, it just seems to be human nature that we you know, we wake up in the morning and it's a cloudy day. We're we're not happy about that. Whereas we should be happy that the fact that we woke up. Um, we come from the perspective that I don't consent to be recognized by this name. It's not my name. Not this. Not that. And always coming from a generally a negative perspective or a viewpoint. And that has caused us to take this long to get to uh, where I believe this is going now. And um, so I'm suggesting that our human nature has been our prohibitor. And we're always, again, generally coming from this negative perspective. There's always, can't, you know, there's this, gee, I wish it was sunny out rather than just being happy or alive and breathing and healthy and this and that and the other thing. And <clears throat> I think uh, Alex and Yakim and I, when we came out of jail and Doug and Dana, I think we all kind of said the same thing. After two days in jail of a place with no sunshine and no fresh air, we were happy with sun and air, and that was good enough. That's good enough for us. So if you're actually happy with just the sun and the air and, and to be alive, then everything else and over and above that is just a bonus. It doesn't define your life. It doesn't make you who you are, and it doesn't really matter. It's just a, just a letting go. <clears throat> so back to the uh, change of name act where the Clearly, it states in there that one is entitled to be recognized by the name appearing on the birth certificate. It's a third party granting that entitlement. And, of course, we've come from the perspective, well, if it's my name, how, how do you have the authority to entitle me to be recognized by it? It doesn't make any sense. Well, here's what does make sense. is Your parents, as it states in the Vital Statistics Act, are to give you a name. And your parents intended to give you a name long before the government received the statement of birth with respect to that registration of birth and what the name is. And the government took that statement of birth and they took it into trust. That is why they will not let you have it. Uh, many people have demanded uh, to get the possession of the statement of birth, the original from the possession of the government, and they will not do that. 
This conference is now being recorded. So they're not going to let it go, and the fact that they have that statement of birth and that you're entitled to be recognized by the name on the birth certificate, which, which is just an extension of the statement of birth. It's like the birth of a child. The statement of birth, you could say, is the mother, and the, and the birth certificate is the child. The mother is always responsible for the child. However, if the child wants to resist that, then the child will bear the burdens and the responsibilities for his resistance. And this is why I say we always seem to come from, or generally from, these negative perspectives, and which is really putting up resistance. But the fact that you're entitled, to, that we are entitled to be recognized by that name, is kind of saying, yes, it's your name, but it does not belong to you. It belongs to the trust. It's the same thing as saying your human body is yours to do with as you choose, as you will. However, it doesn't belong to you. It belongs to God. <clears throat> and it was never the intention of God, I don't think, that we use his human body to serve our self-serving purposes. And it's just like the government says, it was never intended that a birth certificate is personal identification. So what they're basically saying, I believe, and what we're acting on now is that you are entitled to be recognized by the name as the settlor and the beneficiary. Now, the facts, the only question becomes now is for those things to be in existence, there has got to be a trust. And the fact that you're entitled to be recognized by a name, by a third party that's holding the statement of birth in trust, and they clearly, the government states clearly that we don't own it. The reason they don't own it is because it's in trust. Anything in trust is not owned, it's just in trust. So the government does not own it. We don't own it. In fact, nobody owns anything. Everything is in trust, in God we trust or not. And so by accepting rather than resisting the offer or entitlement or permission, whatever you want to call it, to be recognized by the name, you decide, this is the time appointed by the Father, is you, me, each one of us is our, has given free will and we're responsible for our beingness and our life and everything that happens to us. The time appointed by the Father is you, is me, is each of us independently. I'm referring to Galatians 4 here. So the time appointed by the Father is me. The power is in, is, is in me. As Christ said, the power, we all have the power here. We all have the authority here. But we keep coming from the position of weakness. And we keep coming from resistance. <coughs> now, the fact that you're entitled to be recognized by the name also signifies that Technically, well, actually, legally, you are with the highest level of authority to order the name what to do. See, <clears throat> when someone's in, in court, never are they ordering a man or a woman to do anything. They are ordering a title, a name. That's what's being ordered. But because we believe we are the name, we believe that we are being ordered to do things. But it is not us being ordered. It is always names being ordered. Names are titles. So titles are being ordered around. And we've gone for the right and the negative because we've come from the, from the position that it's our name and that stems from that it's my house and that goes back to the ego, which I don't want to talk a whole lot about here. I move on beyond that. So <clears throat> a combination of a resistance and, um, and wanting to serve, desire of the human consciousness is basically to serve self and not do the love thing is, is, is basically what has caused us to get take this long to get to the point that all of this huge thing, this whole planet and everything in, on, and of it is in trust. Just like your body is given to you in trust. Now, you, we have the free will, how we use the body, how we use the tools. But the underlying truth is everything is a trust. And so if we want to get in harmony with the truth, then we have to recognize or should recognize that everything is a trust. And then when you're serving a trust, when you're serving God, you do it without consideration. You do it freely. And that's exactly what a settlor is. A settlor is one that says, okay, the property that is mine, I'm giving it freely into the trust. Now, <clears throat> you're going to have a little bit of a mind glitch here, maybe, but there's you and there's the name. You are not the name and the name is not you. Now, when you use uh, go and purchase something, it's not actually you making the purchase, of course. It's the name. But it's your will being done there. If you have decided, I want a car... So it is you going in to make the purchase, but you're purchasing the car in the name of the birth certificate. And at the end of the day, the car will be registered in the name on the birth certificate. And all that's telling you is that everything that's done in that name is trust property, including the name itself. 
Now, when we use trust property, and I'm, gonna, I'm talking about the name here on your birth certificate, when we use trust property for self-serving purposes, it's actually against the rules of a trust. That is not the intention. But in so doing that, that means we're using the birth certificate as personal identification, and the courts and the system will affix the title of trustee upon us to do that. Because we're talking about a trust, and that's all there is. There is no money, so everything's in trust. And so when you're talking a trust, you're talking settlers, beneficiaries, trustees. Those are basically your, your three primary titles or, 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 or situations. And so if we are not acting the role of the settlor beneficiary, then we must be, by default, the trustee. And, of course, the trustee is the one that's responsible to perform. Now, back to the name. When you're making a purchase with the name, it's not you making the purchase. It's actually the trust making the purchase because the name is of the trust. It's trust property. Therefore, everything done in that name becomes trust property, including your labor, including the fruits of all of our production. Everything we do in these legal names, which is everything because that's all they recognize in law, goes into that trust. So don't resist that, though. Accept it. And just express. Now, this is an implied trust at this point, meaning it has not been expressed. So how do you express this thing? Well, you express, I'm the grantor, I'm the beneficiary. Here's the facts. First certificate is not personal identification. I'm entitled to be recognized by the name on it. Clearly, it's not identifying me. It's identifying the name, and it's identifying the trust. So by expressing your capacity to be that in that name, <laughs> so I'm entitled to be recognized by this name as the settlor. Me is the, is the one making the choice here. You see, I'm not the name and I'm not actually the settlor. The name is, but it's a title that I'm authorized to be recognized by. So in that sense, I'm the settlor, but it's really the name. But there has to be a human being filling the shoes. Names can't speak. It's like there's been court cases where uh, people were saying, you know, these laws don't apply to natural persons, executors, and this and that. And the other thing, the court says, well, I haven't seen a, ever seen an executor who's not a natural person. So it comes down to at the end of the day here in law is we're all persons, but what kind of person are we? And that's how, they're going, that's how the system is going to recognize you. You don't have to accept that, but that's how you're going to be recognized. What kind of person are you? Are you serving self? Are you a settler? Are you a trustee? Are you a driver? Are you a tenant? and on and on and on. Now, in using that name on the birth certificate for personal reasons, purposes, which is not its intention, no more than God intended that we use his human body to serve ourselves, but in so doing that, that is exactly why you pay taxes, because you're using trust property for personal benefit rather than serving the trust. If you're serving the trust, trust pays, there would be no taxes, not on you and I anyhow. But the fact that we're using that name for personal purposes, we are using trust property for personal purposes, hence the tax. Just like God said, if you don't serve, or Jesus said, if you don't serve the Father, you shall bear the burden. <coughs> the Father, in this case, you could say is the trust. So if we're not serving the trust, if you don't trust in God, then you're not serving the trust. And uh, by default, then you're serving self. So as it stands right now, I don't know any anyone that has actually expressed his capacity to be, with relation to the birth certificate in the name, to be grant, pardon me, settlor slash beneficiary. Now, look at it this way. All of these names that were all issued are all, all of those names together, although they're separate, they are one, and they together constitute the trust. Everyone does what it does, what we do, and everything we do goes into that trust. Now, if we're all assumed the role of the settlor here, and the settlor, by the way, is the one in charge, the, one, the settlor is the one that sets the rules for the trust. All these laws, rules, and regulations out there right now that are being used against you are the laws of the trust in absence of the settlor coming forth and, and setting his own laws. So those are default laws to take care of the situation on the basis that people have not stepped forth under their own authority, <laughs> under their appointing themselves, as whatever you wish, in this case, settlor uh, beneficiary, in absence of doing that, then those laws, rules, and regulations of the legislatures apply to your reality, plain and simple. So back to the all of us have a birth certificate, all of us have a name. If we were all knew what was going on, we were all doing the love thing, we would all identify ourselves and be the settlor. We're all agreeing that everything we do goes into this big pool, 